Welcome to Saving for a Better Tomorrow. Hi, I'm Denise. And hi, I'm Prudence. And we are primary school teachers. And we'd love to share with you the teaching experiences for the savings theme in the classroom. It is important to develop a savings culture. Absolutely, we need to teach our learners how to save. Especially in these difficult economic times. This resource pack is a great use for schools all over South Africa. And in this pack there's a beautiful booklet as well as a DVD that gives you everything you need for your savings theme. You see, teaching can be so much fun. It's not like when I was in the classroom. These days classrooms are active places, learners can learn, play and have fun at the same time. Not like in the old days when we had teach and preach, eh Prudence? Yes. Volunteers, everybody and anybody can be a teacher. So join us for some fun. Let's have a look at the Grade 3 Super Savers. For the Grade 3s, they're going to listen to the song, then they're going to learn the words, put together with some actions and have great fun. Right class, today we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to learn to sing a song. We're going to hand out these words to you. These are the words of the song. Then we're going to play the song, listen carefully, learn, and then we're going to sing. So here is the words of the song. The lyrics to the song are all in the space. To set the scene for your lesson, you can read the story to the class or you can play it from the DVD which you will find in your pack. For the Grade 3 lesson, our class activity is where we make a tin, a savings tin, which shows us our wants as well as our needs. To make the savings tin, we're going to use an uh, empty, clean coffee tin. And you'll see that in our lessons in the booklet, most of our activities are using recyclable and waste materials. So we're going to take our coffee tin, we're going to take off our label on the outside. Once it's been cleaned up, we need some pictures. For example, for our needs, we do need soap. So we would cut out pictures of the soap and the learners would be sitting in their groups, cutting out pictures and putting them in little piles for our needs and wants. Please explain to them ahead of time what is a need and what is a want. Once they have, for example, there's our need, a want would be, for example, like a boat. A boat trip is not a need, but it's definitely a want that you'd want to save for. Then, using your masking tape, you can seal the lid on. This is once we've removed it. We would be sealing the, the lid on because we don't want them taking the money out again. This is a savings tin. And so you mask it closed. So once they've cut out their pictures, they take their tin and you as a teacher would be using the marker or the learners could do that themselves where you would be writing on the, the tin your needs and your wants, the wording. They're going to take the pictures and on the one half where it says needs, for example, we're going to paste all our, all our pictures of needs and on the other half we're going to paste our wants. And then very carefully the learners would be taking a pair of scissors and cutting through to make a nice little slit where the money is going to be placed in. It's not too big because we don't want them taking the savings out again. This is a savings tin. And once that's completed, this tin should be sent home so that they can save as a family even at home. And first of all, they must understand that they're saving for their needs first. And once they've saved for their needs, then you can move over to saving for your wants. Volunteers, we know you're not teachers, but when you are acting as teachers in the classroom, you do need to know one or two things about teaching. For example, how to keep the learners actively involved and keep the lesson interesting. Let's take a look at how we did it. Right, Great Trees. Remember the story that I told you about Jabu and his gogo? Yes. yes. Now, before we get into any of the questions, I want you to show me what does a happy face look like? And a sad face? Thank you. Now, let's look at the questions. How did Jabu feel as he left the soccer field? Was he happy, sad, or excited? Yes, Tulani? He was sad. That's right.
One of the grade three activities is where the learners design posters. Now these posters are displaying key messages of saving. The learners design the posters in little groups, two to three in a group. For this activity, they can use uh, crayons and cokey markers. They can cut out pictures from magazines, which they place on their posters. They design these posters on their own. And here's a, an example of a completed poster that one of our grade three groups made. These posters are then placed in strategic places in and around the school. For example, at the bus stop or at the library, where the community and the rest of the school can see the posters and actually learn about savings. Now volunteers, as you know that activities are the cornerstone to our lessons. There are many options that we can make use of. If you don't have the resources, do not worry, because there's a lot of other options that you can use right from your resource pack. Teaching is valuable and very rewarding. And the lessons that we've done on savings, I think we will make a difference in the lives of these children. So volunteers, what do you need to take to the classroom? A positive attitude? And lots of energy. And in just one lesson, we can make a world of difference. Yes. So volunteers, get out there, have fun and make a difference. <music>